Holy Krabby Patties! It's time for the greatest game show under the sea. This is SpongeBob Smarty Pants! I'm your host, Roy, AKA Guava Juice. Ha! And I'm joined by my fantastic contestants, Susan and Chavez. We're just gonna splish splash right over to our first challenge called the Order Up Challenge. Order up. Really simple, the person who can flip the most Krabby Patties into the mouths of those hungry anchovies wins the round. Oh. Are you ready, Chavez? I'm ready. Are you ready, Susan? I hope so. Well, I'm ready. Get set, anchovies! There you go, we're starting it off strong, Susan, with one on the back. And come on, Chavez, yeah. we're trying to flip it back here, Chavez. Breathe, ah. breathe, buddy. Come on. One, we're done, stop it, we have a winner. Susan won with a whopping eight Krabby Patties. Congratulations, Smarty Pants, do me a favor, get ready for round number two, the Bikini Bottom Blitz. Here's how it's gonna work. Each location features a SpongeBob trivia question worth 100 points. Buzz in, answer that question correctly, and those 100 points are yours. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. All right, Krusty Carol, please move this sponge to the Krusty Krab. All right. Right here. Question one. What does Bubble Bass tell SpongeBob he leaves off his Krabby Patty? Susan. Pickles. Pickles is correct. 100 points to Susan. Krusty Carol, please move this to the chum bucket. Question number two. In the episode Culture Shock, what is Plankton's talent in the talent show? Chavez. Was it magic? Correct! Yeah. It is magic! Krusty Carol, please move this sponge to Jellyfish Field. Here we go. In this question, we're gonna be playing a game called Porous Chorus. I'm gonna sing a line from a SpongeBob lyric. You're gonna have to finish it. You ready? F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and Susan. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere at any time and all down. Here in, in the, the deep, deep blue sea. sea. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> wow. All right, moving on. Goo Lagoon, please. Question four. What limb is Fred always yelling about? Susan. My leg. My leg is correct. <laughs> <laughs> My leg. Pushing through to Sandy's tree dome, please. Question number five. What organism is Squidward? Chavez. Uh, octopus. Octopus is correct! Yes! It's like a beautiful dream, so peaceful, no more aggravation. That's a tricky one, because Squidward, his name is a squid, but he's an octopus. Moving on to Super Weenie Hut. Question six. I'm going to say a quote. You must finish. The quote is, the inner machinations of my mind, Chavez, are an enigma. Are an enigma is correct! No, what's that? No, I'm out. Good luck. That sound means it's time for the Flying Dutchman's wager. In this next challenge, you have a chance to wager some of your points to make it to the final round. How much are you willing to wager? Susan, you have 350 points. Chavez. You caught up and you have 300 points. Hey, uh, Krusty Carol? <laughs> please do me a favor and keep our contestants from looking at each other's work. All right, contestants, place your wagers now. While I do that, I'm gonna work on my impression of a starfish. No, this is Patrick. <laughs> All right, time's up. Pencils down, wagers are in. Time to shine, contestants, using your boards. Please, draw me a picture of SpongeBob, but I need you to draw the correct number of pores on his face. Ready? Go. And for you guys watching at home, yes, only a true SpongeBob fan knows that there is a correct number of pores on his face. All right, time's up. Stop. Krusty Carol, we don't need you anymore. Please leave the premises. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. All right, we're gonna start off with Susan, since you are in the lead. Flip your board. Okay. All right, Susan's wagered 300 points. And yes. I drew him with one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven holes on his face. Chavez, you wagered 50 points. How many pours are in SpongeBob? Seven pours. You both answered seven pours. The correct number of pours on SpongeBob's face is seven! Seven oh! pours! Oh my gosh! That is unbelievable. Chavez, you earned a total of 350 points. Susan, a whopping 650 points. <laughs> Meaning you have won the Flying Dutchman's Challenge. Krusty Carol, please clean up on all five. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, come on, bud. What's, what's, what's going on? I'm so sorry, my friend. Here we go. Move it along, move it along, sweeping, sweeping. All right, have a good one. Susan, you are one step closer to winning the Golden Pineapple. How are you feeling? It's going to look fantastic with my earrings. You still have to survive the Chum Bucket Challenge. It all comes down to this. Susan, you've made it through two rounds of the competition, and you are one round away from winning this golden pineapple. Will it be yours? We'll find out. Krusty Carol, bring out the chum, please. Here we go. This is what it looks like when I try to make lasagna. <gasps> I'm gonna ask you a series of seven final SpongeBob trivia questions. All you gotta do is answer five correctly, and you win the golden pineapple. But if you get three wrong, well, you get chummed. Are you ready? Yes. Go, question one. When Pearl becomes manager of the Krusty Krab, what did she and SpongeBob rename it? Five. The Coral Crab? Are you sure? The coral crab is incorrect. We were looking for the cuddly crab, Susan. That is one incorrect answer. Two more wrong and you get chummed. No. Question two. In the episode Imitation Crabs, SpongeBob and Robotic Mr. Krabs sing the spaghetti song. Recite the song, please. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. Correct. Yeah. Woo. Question three. In the Krusty Krab training video, what does the acronym POOP mean? Poop. People order our patties. Poop. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Two correct answers in a row, Susan. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling better. Feeling You're feeling better. better. We're moving on to question number four. In the episode Dying for Pie, SpongeBob first gives Squidward a sweater made out of what for Employee Brotherhood Day? Eyelashes. Correct. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Woo. Question number five. In the episode Rockabye Bivalve, SpongeBob and Patrick adopt a baby scallop. What do they name him? All right, five, four, three, spit it out. Whatever you got, Susan. Two, one, go. I got nothing. I got nothing oh. is incorrect. So no. Sorry, Susan. The correct answer was junior. 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 All right, Susan, two more correct answers. You're gonna win the golden pineapple. One more wrong, you're gonna get chummed. Question six. SpongeBob's most prized jellyfish net, as seen in the episodes Nature Pants and the Pink Berloiner, has a name. What is the name of his jellyfish net? Roy, that would be Old Reliable. Correct! Yeah! 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 Not getting chum today. All right, Susan, it all comes down to this. This is the final question. If you get it right, you win. If you get it wrong, you get chummed. I've waited my whole life for this. All right. Final question. SpongeBob and Patrick compete against each other in what year of the Fry Cook games? Oh my goodness. SpongeBob and Patrick compete against each other in what year of the Fry Cook games? Oh, the 25th annual Fry Cook games? The 25th. I'm going to give you a chance to change it. You think that's the right answer? Probably not. The 25th. Is incorrect. Oh! The correct answer is 21st. What? 
You were four off. You know what that means, Susan. Release the choke! Unfortunately, you didn't win the golden pineapple, but you won't be going home empty-handed because you're gonna win this lovely one-of-a-kind SpongeBob prize. Potato salad. It took three days to make that potato salad. Three days! Join us next time as two more SpongeBob SquarePants fans battle it out to see who is the biggest SpongeBob fan. I'm your host, Roy, a.k.a. Guava Juice. And remember, I wombo, you wombo, he, she, me, wombo. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>